Hello and welcome to the Red Men TV and another edition of the Extra Time Show. Um, what can we say about that result? There was an air of inevitability with Christian Benteke playing all week. It's like the pundits were going, oh, Liverpool are playing well, uh, they, they, they might roll them over at home. And I think every fan knew, no, Christian Benteke is going to score. And what did he do? He scored twice. Um, so usually I start with all the social media stuff of the players, but they've went into hiding, as they do when they get a hiding. Um, John Arnarisa said, Lovren all over the place at the back, involved in both goals conceded, 2-1 Palace. Yeah, um, been getting a lot of stick for the goals. Lovren, he is prone to running out onto the left wing and they kind of doing nothing. Um, I'd say Emre Chan needs to take a bit of stick for just going to sleep in, in the six-yard box and, and leaving... Benteke to score but it's just a shit game all round and, and that's pretty much all we can say. One thing that did come out of the game, big news before it was that uh, Rian Brewster was on the bench and if you looked at that bench, Carius, Gomez, Moreno, Trent Alexander, Arnold, Arnold Gruic, Brewster and Wubin, that is <coughs> that is a young bench, that is really young. Is it, I asked you this question, is this a sign of brilliant youth? from Liverpool, or is it just a cry out for help from Jurgen Klopp to saying, let's just invest in this squad, there's no squad depth there whatsoever, when you've got Mamadou Sacco, a £30 million defender, on their bench, and you've got Lazar Markovic Gordon, which we'll get to. Um, yeah, Origi didn't have the best of games as the sole striker. Well, he weren't really striker, he was, he was right wing. But uh, Tony Stark said, I haven't really liked Origi this season. I'd like to see another striker in the summer because Ings won't be fit and Sturridge will be sold. I don't even know if Sturridge will be sold now. He's that injury prone. If you were another club in the Premier League, would you even take that risk? It's a lot of money to gamble on a player that doesn't really play many games at all. Um, so yeah, in, in other news, uh, Lucas Lever was celebrating 10 years as a Liverpool player. Uh, Steven Gerrard posted on his Instagram, uh, 10 years of red, congratulations, Lucas Lever. Uh, we had the current captain, Jordan Henderson, saying, great night last night, 10 years of red, Lucas Lever, Adam Lallana, gagging in there as well. So um, what are your best Lucas Lever moments for me? It, it is that, that shot against Everton and we absolutely demolishing them and Jürgen Klopp starts laughing the head off. Either that or unlucky. So, um, what a guy. He's the closest thing we've got to a bloody scouter after Trent Alexander-Arnold, to be honest with you. Um, and um, <coughs> wish him nothing but the best if he does stay. And he obviously deserves a testimonial, that goes without saying. Um, at the party, we also had Alberto Moreno. He was on an Insta Live thing. I, I don't know what that is. I only go on Instagram to post pictures of me holidays. Um, he was... Looking quite drunk, to be honest with you. Him and Coutinho having a bit of laugh, get, get, getting a, a, a lot of love. So um, they were having a good time. And it's it just, just strange to see them doing that after a beating. Um, Trent Alexander-Arnold, he posted on Twitter saying, um, thanks EA Sports for the card. Um, got himself a special EA Sports card for Ultimate Team, I think, in which he's got 97 pace. 95 dribbling, 96 passing, 95 like physicality, but still only 85 defending. So um, even when you're ranked a 95 player, right mid as well, not right back, um, and FIFA aren't really giving you all the props for defending, you got to have a little look at yourself there. But um, he's been playing well, which we'll get to. Um, in other news, Newcastle uh, got sealed promotion to the Premier League, and uh, Michael Owen said, uh, delighted to see my old team, Newcastle, secure promotion. Um, that's the first time of asking. So he played Deep Mahaman, he also tweeted about it. So uh, it's nice to see Rafa and, and John Joe Shelby getting up there. Um, the under-23s had a last-minute winner against uh, Manchester City, who were sitting in second place. Liverpool, of course, were third. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and we won 3-2. So uh, we had a slick move down the right-hand side. Uh, a gr great ball from Tens Alexander-Arnold outside of his foot. Puts uh, Ben Woodburn in, who flashes it across goal and, uh, and scores. Um, it was another good run from Brewster, who's running across the field. And a, a defence-splitting pass um, again to Trent um, again to Ben Woodburn who slots it home so Ben Woodburn getting two goals there brilliant movement and um, he definitely deserves his call up to the bench but you know maybe the bench needs a bit more firepower itself um, and a super sub Matty Virtue in the last minute City get a corner it's two all at this point 91 minutes in um, it breaks down Liverpool attack um, ball goes over and last minute uh, he does well to, to 
put the ball in, in the net. It was a good, good counter-attack. Um, bit of a mix-up with the keeper, but he's, he's on hand to, to slot it home. So um, the league itself, the under-23s league itself, Everton have won it. Congratulations to them. They've always had a good youth system. Um, in second place is Manchester City, and Liverpool are just two points behind them going into the final game. So we would need them to get beat, and we'd have to beat Everton in our final game, which, you know, you never know how that's going to go. But um, City are playing Southampton without a win in five, so it doesn't look like we'll be getting um, a runners-up prize, as it were, but, you know, anything can happen in football. Uh, the under-18s as well, they kind of blown their chances at uh, any title glory. They lost 4-1 to Arsenal. There were four pens in the game, um, three of which to an Arsenal team, Who so you got a hat-trick of penalties there. Um, I don't think it's helped by the best players like Brewster being moved up. Um, but yeah, that all but seals their fate as, as not going to win that, that National League now because of the goal difference and Arsenal have got like games in hand. So, you know, that's, that, again, not great news there. Um, on the low knee front, we had Lazar Markovic. He played 82 minutes for Hull and even got himself a goal. They were 10 men down. Um, it was kind of a counter-attack. Ball goes out wide to the right, crossed in, odd bounce, and Lazar Markovic is not really a heading kind of guy. Heads it, gets it in, good goal, and uh, hopefully he can get a move to Hull. Uh, he tweeted on Twitter, as you tweet. Um, Mamadou Sacco was in the news. I don't know how people feel about this celebration. So and I know other like websites will be like, oh, United fans will be laughing at Liverpool over this sign and just trying to steer people up. But um, he said in the Liverpool Echo this week, uh, Christian sc scored, I stayed seated and didn't want to celebrate. Uh, but when he came over, I done a handshake because we're friends. Um, I think it's this kind of attitude. It's a bit of a rebellious attitude of why he's not wanted by Klopp at the club, to be honest with you. But in, uh, you can't, I personally, I don't really hold a grudge against them because it's like, we're filing for divorce. We've just seen it, our wife with another man and he, and, She's kissed him in front of us. I'm like, mate, we're still married, but we're technically, there's no love there anymore, uh, as much as I do love Mamadou Sacco. So, um, yeah, what do you think about that? Uh, John Joe Flanagan, John Joe, John Joe Flanagan, um, baldy headed uh, Brazilian right back. Um, now, John Flanagan, he posted on Twitter saying, Messi once again, fire and hand signal, like hand signals. He didn't play. Danny Ward got 19 minutes. Kent, Wisdom, Shirivea, Allen. Tyro Awoni and Brooks Lennon, they all got 90 minutes, so they're all still playing, all still plugging away at the end of the season, which is nice to see. So hopefully we can have, we need a big summer clear out and all these players that are playing 90 minutes, you'd hope they would get um, a, a move to the club. Da, da, da. So transfer target of the week, because it's become very much apparent we need transfers in. Kevin O'Connor said, Would you take Terry at Liverpool as a player coach? He's a prick, but he's a terrific defender and he could be a real leader in the defence. I would take him as a coach, but not a player coach. That's where I stand on the matter. I think John Terry is a brilliant defender and, as you've said, um, questionable models with regards to other things, but, you know, who am I to judge? Um, but brilliant defender, one of the best Premier League's ever seen. Um, he would be brilliant because how we are so quick to moan about the defending of Liverpool, which is woeful at times, but you tell me, how do we improve it? Um, I think, rather than looking at defence, I was looking at Origi and Firmino just was not... It's just not getting enough goals for me, I don't think. I'm not saying he's not a brilliant player. Um, but Lacazette, as we have looked at this week, in, uh, in his last four seasons, um, he's got 31 goals, 23 goals, 31 and 22 goals. We need a, a 25 goal a year player. He's the man. He's quick. He's he's pacey. He makes good movements and he's he's got he has good runs. He guards the ball well from defenders. I think we have to do everything in our power this summer. He's linked with Arsenal. He's linked with Tottenham. He's even linked with West Ham. If it's forty or fifty million, I think we've just got to go for it. I think now's now's our time to to do a power play with top four being such a like a harsh position to win. Um, so. That's who I'm saying. Go, go all in. Go all in on him and Van Dyke. I'm saying. Um, so comments of the week, um, as, as, as we do every week, get involved with the discussion. It's uh, Cal Callum Coyle said, uh, love getting the Reds news, but you need to present more videos because everyone is becoming quite irritating. Thanks, Callum. Yeah, I am the best. Um, Nick Hall, Aragumog Aram Ogum. 
I hope I got that right. Honestly, don't understand the barrage of abuse Lewis gets every week. It seems almost impossible to hate the guy. He even works for a charity. Yeah, charities don't pay well either. Um, Archie Brown said, Lewis is the Kenny Everett of Redmen TV, which I think is personally a compliment. I love Kenny Everett. A uh, great comedy hero of mine. Um, Mark Gallagher said, um, I know Danny Ings is injured, but any views on if he'll be in the squad if he's fit? I think he's out for the season. I don't think we were seeing him back until the start of next season. And um, I would go as far to say, I think we need to cut our losses with Danny Ings and maybe just send him out on loan back to Burnley for a year, see what he can do there and just keep tabs on him that way. Um, when I asked about uh, Twitter trolls and things like that, see, I don't mind getting trolled because it's always a bit friendly, light-hearted, and, and I can kind of give it back and take it. Um, T5, Tom5 said, uh, I think footballers who sign up for Twitter should expect a bit of trolling so long as it's good-natured. Trolling players at rival clubs should be encouraged because it's funny. Um, I don't know. I don't know about that. If someone's being a bit of a tit on Twitter, feel free to friggin troll them a little bit but I don't know there's certain lines of abuse I don't think should be crossed because these people read them and like if you're tweeting Lucas and, and or players and saying that they're shit and they shouldn't play for the club they still read that they still have feelings the family see it the kids see it so yeah, I look at it that way um, Daniel Crawford said I'm really not impressed by the amount of abuse John Henry's wife endures on Twitter it's bang out of order and an embarrassment to our club and fan base Aaron T says trolls are not real fans um, soft lad Ification, so the Twitter trolls target. Basically, it's misogynistic men children. YouTube itself is full of aged boys venting their spiteful ignorance at women. It's all too much time and trouble for them to grow up and become real men. They're all mouth and trousers. It's pathetic. I know there's all mouth and no trousers. I know that was the phrase. Um, but that's kind of the one hand. And then we've got fucking wasted said, look at Linda crying at her. And her husband constantly milked this club. Laugh at the fans and then they cry after getting called out. Quite disgusting how every beta new male in our fan base is trying to white knight Linda when she doesn't give a fuck about the club, tweets more about the loser team Red Sox, and when she does pretend to care, it's only when the club is winning. Moreover, she and her husband won't address what the fans are pointing out. Now, it's hard to have a go at him because he's got such a good vocabulary and he makes good points. So, um, still up in the air on that one. So, for the questions to ask yourself this week, then it is it's easy to moan at defenders, but how do we improve defensively apart from signing Virgin van Dijk and things like Virgin van Dijk? I don't know. Um, is a young bench is it good for the future or does it show a lack of squad depth? And if so, how many players do you think we need this summer? Um, have we actually blown top four like we've blown the league at Palace? It's up for discussion. And uh, the game's in hand. We look at the league, and, and I know a few people have mentioned that it gives you false hope when United have got like two games in hand and things like that. Or it might be one now. Um, should there be games in hand at this stage in, in the season? Should the games be played beforehand? Uh, do let me know. And uh, also breaking news at the minute. New Balance and Liverpool have tweeted saying stay in touch with uh, Twitter because you've got big news coming at 8pm. That's Greenwich Mean Time for all the American Brooks Lennon fans. Um, and apart from that, that's it. Let me know in the comments. Get involved. And most of all, take it easy.